Welcome back to EDUA 90. Tim and AT here, and over the next two episodes, we'll walk you through a few Chromebook features that you might not be using just yet. These tricks will help you do even more with your device in the classroom, allowing you to focus on your students and instruction. That's right. Today, we'll show you how to work offline, take searching to the next level, and an easy way to see all of your windows at once. Let's get started. Since Chromebooks are 100% web-based devices, you might assume that you need to be connected to the internet in order to use them. Luckily, that's not the case. Even if you're not connected to the internet, you can still do many things like edit docs, sheets, or slides, or draft emails while offline. Once you reconnect to the internet, everything will sync, save, and send automatically. Administrators can enable offline access for staff and students, and Chrome allows programs to store data and retrieve it as needed. Let's take a look at how easy it is to set up offline mode on a Chromebook. To initially set up offline mode, you'll need to be connected to the internet. First, open a doc, sheet, or slide and head to Settings. Toggle the switch that says Offline and then select OK. Your files can be edited offline and will automatically update once you're back online. Google is best known for its search capabilities, and we want you to have that same experience on your Chromebook. So we've built in functionality that allows you to search for anything, from apps and files to the web or anything you're curious about, the search button awaits. That's right. Built directly into your Chromebook keyboard, tap the search button and get started searching. Chromebooks make it easy whether it's searching the web for quick lesson inspiration, searching apps for a tool to use with students, or searching your files to track down the professional development presentation that you're sharing with colleagues. Educators use their devices in a broad range of ways, so it's not uncommon for multiple windows to be open at one time. We've heard from educators who use their open windows as makeshift to-do lists, and from others who pre-open windows that contain videos so that they can preload the content. No matter the reason, save yourself the time of clicking through each one and easily navigate across all windows at once with this easy Chromebook shortcut. Using three fingers, just swipe up or down to see all of your windows. It's really that simple. Today, we've seen a few of the features that allow you to do even more on your Chromebook. And we'll be back with more next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. Curious about using Google Translate but not sure where to start? Check out our last episode for a few ideas.